you can do something. Yes. I don't For um, coming this evening, we are very, very excited about our uh, uh, young lady that is representing Haiti this year. Um, Raquel, she is beautiful, but not only she is beautiful, I mean she has brains, but most importantly she has a beautiful heart. She has a platform, an international platform that needs to be heard on stage. And I'm so excited um, that again that she is representing us at the Miss Universe pageant. As you know, the Miss Universe pageant will be held um, in the Philippines. So she is traveling to the Philippines on Wednesday and the pageant will be um, showcased live on Fox January 29th. So make sure you all don't forget January 29th on Fox. So uh, get your TV sets and record. So a little bit about the Miss Universe pageant. Many countries around the world will be competing for the title of Miss Universe. And as the Miss Universe winner, you get a contract for a whole year and you are the face of the organization. So what they do is they travel and um, they carry out the organization's platform alongside with the young lady's individual platform and what she's passionate about. One thing about pageantry, people think it's just a beauty, just a shell. It's more than just a shell. The crown gives them a bigger voice, a bigger audience to let the world know of causes that they strongly, strongly believe in. And that's why I love pageantry. And um, as my company, Pageant Role Models, my job is to really bring out the, in, the beauty from within and out. Because it's not just important to be a beautiful face on the outside. It's a young lady that's gonna go out there and that's gonna work Action, put her action into plan, her platform into 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 works, and and make sure let the world know that this is what is important. And so she's going to tell you a little about her platform. I'm not going to spoil it for you when she introduces um, herself. So my name is Lulu um, Orange, and basically I've become a mentor to this young lady um, in pageantry. And I have my pageant friends here. I see all of them back there. So. Um, they they know me um, here in the South Florida area, and so I proudly introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, our Miss Universe Haiti representing IET. First of all, I want to thank everybody here for coming. It means the world to me to see that I have Haitians or everybody supporting me because once you go on um, in a pageant, you need the support of everybody because it's really intense and you have to do a great job and I want to for everybody to see that Haiti was here, but not only that Haiti was here, but that Haiti is great. So I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Raquel Pelissier, for those who don't know me. I'm 25. I'm an optometrist. And now I'm finishing my master's in scientific research. I've been crowned Miss Haiti Universe in August, this past August, and since that moment it has been a wonderful journey because it has allowed me to inspire and empower others around me and it also gave me the opportunity to fight for a great cause, a platform, my platform as Miss Universe is supporting and promoting education in my country because education in Haiti is it's not the best country to be a student at school. 
So I really wanted to support the children, give them or provide them um, school supplies, books, everything for this past month in uh, December. I had the opportunity to give to 300 kids school, I mean, uh, books and school supplies. I went all the way to Jeremy to a school that was destroyed by the Hurricane Matthew. And I was really happy because I felt like they were really happy to have that much love. So that is uh, an experience that is really rewarding and that is what keeps me going. So I want to thank everybody. I want to start by thanking Lulu here, who's been my mentor. She's been like my mother. <laughs> and she's been doing a great job with me um, here, coordinating my training. I want also to thank um, Jimmy. I want to thank Corinne. I want to thank Chef uh, Jean-Eli. I want to thank um, Willie. I want to thank everybody who came, my family. You guys are my family, my friends. Um, and thanks for the support because it means the world to me. I'm going, I'm leaving for Miss Universe on Wednesday. So it's starting and I want you guys to follow my journey because I'm sure you guys are going to love it. It's going to be amazing. I want you guys to be here, I mean, there with me <laughs> in the Philippines because it's going to be like the biggest Miss Universe show ever seen with about 12,000 people, the biggest ever. So I want you to follow my journey. If you're not following me on social media, my Instagram account is Raquel Pelissier. And thanks again for being here. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. Going to. So the pageant, just to let you know, the areas of competition, because a lot of people see different pageant girls, uh, and we do have some in the room this evening that we will be taking pictures with them, um, but just to not to confuse everyone what the Miss Universe pageants are about. So there's areas of competition. Um, there's three areas of competition. There's interview, um, swimsuit, and evening gown. The interview consists of panel interview, and then there's an on-stage interview as well. And so what happens is when the girls arrive, the very first part of the competition that they will compete in is a panel interview. The panel interview is um, random um, people in the industry that they have chose. It could be in entertainment. It could be in business. Um, it's, it's just a variety of different people because guess what? When you're Miss Universe and you go out there in a platform like this, people are going to throw questions at you and they want to see how quick on their feet that they're able to answer questions um, from the media and, and people that are approaching them. And so they will be scored on that, and then once they're scored with that, they compete. So they have a preliminary night. So the preliminary night, all the girls compete in a preliminary pageant. Sometimes they call it semifinals. They don't naturally call it semifinals. So basically, for the preliminary pageant, they will compete in swimsuit and evening gown only. Every country will be seen, but it is not taped live. It is not live. Sometimes they stream it online for us to, get to see it. So from those scores, from the panel interview and the scores of the preliminary pageant semifinals night, they will gather those scores. The top 15 will advance on the final night. You will not know the 15 until the finals. So the finals will come on, they get, they get right to it. They say, welcome to Miss Universe, let's get right to it. We are going to now announce the top 15. So they will announce the top 15 right then and there and everyone says what happens to the rest of the girls. They still continue on with the production, but they're just kind of going on with the production. They'll still come out in their evening wear and swimsuit or, or whatnot. So when they get to the top 15, they will also, they will continue to do their cuts. The top 15 will now participate in swimwear, and then from swimwear, they will cut again. And then from, when they do that cut, then they will go to evening gown, they will do another cut, then it goes to the top five. The top five will answer the final question. Now the final question is what all the girls are scared of because you don't know if you're gonna get a political question or a, we call it a foo-foo question. You know, a foo-foo question, what does beauty mean to me or whatever, right? So you can get political, you can get foo-foo question, you can get something very 
t towards the time, like social media. Like, it's social media today, something this happened, you know, or whatever. And so they want to see, it's not the best answer, it's how the girl delivers it with confidence. It doesn't have to be the best. We will now take questions. This is good for her because this is good panel interview um, experience. This is very good for her. So we want you to ask her questions. So the floor is open. <laughs> then you have a question. Focus on because if you don't have education, you don't have no future. And in Haiti, that's what we need. We need hope. We need a better future for our country. For your audience. Okay. Um, the question again. <laughs> what do you plan to do when you win? Okay. L'homme gagne, moi, je vais continuer pour travailler sur la plateforme, qui c'est um, continuer et promouvoir l'éducation dans le pays, parce que sans éducation, le pays n'a pas parlé aucun côté. Nous avons besoin que Timoun y ait tout ça, il y a besoin, il y a besoin de livres, il y a besoin de um, crayons, toute nécessité pour pour y être um, étudié. Le mois de en Haïti, en décembre, moi, bye comme cadeau à 300 élèves, um, uh, livre préféré par qui c'est Petit Prince là, The Little Prince. Antoine de saint exupéry Parce que le livre, ça, moi, apprend un pile bagaille de livre. Il y a un pile de monde qui pense que c'est un livre de monde, mais ce n'est pas vraiment un livre de monde parce qu'on lit toute la vie et on va apprendre un moral dans le livre, ça, durant chaque fois qu'on lit. Donc, moi, je vais 200 livres à tout le monde, ça, et moi, espérer qu'il y a apprendre de lire, il y a aimé lire, il y a continuer à investir dans l'éducation parce que sans éducation, pas de tout le pays. Pues, um, lo mismo, pues, um, quiero continuar, o sea, seguir a trabajar um, con mi plataforma que es promover la educación en mi país, porque la educación en mi país no, no es la mejor y necesitamos mucha ayuda, mucho apoyo para conseguir que los jóvenes tengan una buena educación, porque sin la educación no hay futuro para esos niños. Gracias. I'm more open to work. I'm more open to work for Haiti to have a better image. I represented Haiti already in Bolivia. It was my first international pageant. It's called Reina Hispanoamericana. And through that pageant, I learned so much. I learned that the winner is probably not the most beautiful girl, probably not the most experienced girl, but it's going to be someone with a heart, someone is human, someone who is close to the point who's able to make a change. So that's the most valuable lesson I learned in Bolivia. And in Bolivia, Haiti was placed third finally. So I'm happy. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you knew that. <laughs> There's a question right here. Yes, uh, my name is Z Danny with Evidence Magazine. I'm from Brazil. And I moved to Miami about a year and a half ago. And I just fell in love with the Haitian culture. I have, they crown me that I'm Haitian because I'm just as well. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I'm going there, suppose Ricardo, we said that we're going there for carnival. I want to yes. compare with my carnival. Oh my God. Yes. And elaborating on his question, he said how that has become, it, do you find it is a sacrifice? It is. Or it is just <coughs> an opportunity of a lifetime that you can change so many lives. Actually, it's a sacrifice. For example, I've been, I, before coming here, I was in Colombia training. Right. And you can count the days, you will see that it was um, during New Year's Eve, and I didn't have the opportunity to spend it with my family because I had to be there training. I didn't even celebrate. so. Um, this is a sacrifice that I had to make because I know that if I'm working on something and Miss Universe is here, so I had to be working and not with my family. So I feel like it's a sacrifice, but it's gonna have, it's gonna be um, rewarding. The changes that you're gonna make is beyond. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So I feel like it's worth it. It's really worth it. <laughs> 
So what we're going to do now, thank you all for your questions. That was very good. How did she do in her panel interview conversation? Great. Great. Okay, let's close it up with two, and then we have to close it up and move on. But go ahead in the back first, and then I'll take you since you, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, very Thank you. well represented. I'm very proud. Thank you so much. My question to you is, um, how have the Haitian community received you? Have you find that they're pretty receptive to what you're doing? How have the like the Haitian um, your your um, uh, uh, your elect, uh, um, elective officials, okay, yeah. have they reached out to you in some ways to just raise some awareness, to just bring okay. you up, up front and center so we can make a lot of noise because what you're doing is beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, actually, I was, I'm, I'm really happy because during the whole pageant, I was one of the favorites and I've been receiving so much support <coughs> since day one, since the day of the casting. People have been supporting me. And after the pageant, um, we had some unexpected situations, such as the second elections in the country and the Hurricane Matthew. We were not expecting that. So due to that situation, lots of sponsors have pulled out. Not because they did not want to help, just that they had lots of a lot of other priorities because a hurricane is a priority. We had many people who needed help, so they could not focus on giving us what we needed to send me. So this is where I have struggled, but things are working out. We still need help, but it is starting to work out. I'm going to Miss Universe, finally, so <laughs> I'm going to do my job right now. Very happy to have you with me. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> so proud of you. And First of all, she's family. <laughs> <laughs> One last question. What would you say is your most valuable asset to win the farm? I think that I'm a very determined person. If you know me, you know that if I want something, I'm going to work to get it. And I really want to focus on giving the 100% of myself. And I'm sure it's going to be rewarding because I, I know what I want. And I want to make Haiti proud. I want Haiti to be qualified after 42 years. So I'm going to be my best to make it happen. <laughs> Raquel. So, as you heard, um, she talked about um, sponsors pulling out. It was very difficult because we did have Hurricane Matthew. And so, unfortunately, we really had to pull the funds together. People think pageantries are, you know, it's free. It is not free. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of traveling. As you can see, she's traveled to different countries and things like that. And so we do have to realize, you know, um, we have to rely on funds uh, to get us to the things we need, get us uh, to the stuff that we need to make sure she represents us well. We don't want to go there half-stepping, right? Nope. We want to go there okay. looking great. You know, we, and, and, and no offense to the other uh, great countries, there are many strong countries that we call strong sash factors. The Vene Venezuela, Puerto Rico, right? All the beautiful Spanish countries, and they do represent well. And so we want Haiti to represent exactly. well, too. You know, and so it has been very difficult. So tonight, you have been invited to this event, this special RZP. So anything that you have tonight, we are accepting. We are accepting cash donations. We also have a GoFundMe, but particularly the cash um, donations is wonderful for us tonight. And so we do, I believe, have um, some envelopes or things that we could please, if you find it in your hearts, anything to help us get there. We are going, so we're not worried about that. We will be there, but it will help us to have any additional funds, you know, to help with luggage, the overage of luggage. Obviously, she is gonna have a lot of clothes from different designers, and the luggage does cost money to keep traveling to other countries. And so, please find it in your hearts. After uh, we wrap it up here, we're gonna thank our sponsors, and if you could come up one by one, just thank her, and if you have anything for her, please, um, you know, give that to her, and then we will take pictures with everyone. Okay, okay. and we're going to thank our sponsors now. So, Jimmy Moniz and, you know, Corinne, so we're going to talk about it. Um, we want to thank 
Chef Eli for putting such a wonderful, wonderful Are you chef? catering. Chef. Orange pageant, pageant role models. Thank you for actually, you know, communicating with us and uh, stuff. Of course, it was brought by to you by Noko G Production and CCWC Network. Um, so um, please make her feel welcome. Take pictures. Talk to her. Encourage her. And go, you know. Yes. Okay. So um, floor is open. So floor is done. open. You all come and then. After we're done here, I will take her over to take some pictures. So one by one, you all can come and congratulate her. Oh, yeah.